Okay, welcome back. Uh, let's resume our activity today. I'm gonna share a screen with you and hopefully everyone can see it. Uh, we will now start discussing programming constructs, uh, the very, very basic programming constructs. And if some one of you have already, uh, you know, uh, took a course on uh, basic programming, maybe using C++, Fortran, any other programming languages, uh, they might have seen this before uh, with the syntax of that language. So there are very basic constructs that we would like to discuss with you. Uh, the first one of them is F statements, the conditionals. Okay. And, and other ones that we will be discussing later, uh, and I hope you see my screen now, so I'm writing on a whiteboard and I hope you can see it. If, if you cannot, then please uh, let me know. Uh, other constructs that we will be discussing, loops, uh, and there are types of loops that we will discuss. Uh, we would like also to discuss uh, functions, how we can make a function uh, that can be called from another code or another script. So. You, you have many, many functions and you have a script that can actually call each one of them separately. So let's start with the simplest of these constructs, the F statements. The idea is sometimes uh, depending on certain calculation, you might need to take a decision. For example, for example, let me give an example. If a student grade is somewhere between uh, 90 and 100, you need to give them A. So you might need to calculate the grade and if grade is between 90 and 100, you give the student A. Uh, if the grade between, let's say, 86 and, and 90, you give the student A minus. Uh, 82 and 86, you need to give them B plus, and so on and so forth. So, so conditionals or F statements are quite useful um, because they allow you to do branch, you know, branching. So if this is the case, do this. If this is the case, do this. If this is the case, do this. Okay. And the way the syntax of doing it in MATLAB is the following. Uh, if, uh, uh, you know, some condition, uh, let me write it in some other color. So if condition satisfied, then, and you don't write the word then, then you need to execute some stuff. If it is only one condition, you can end it right away with an end statement. So you have really to have the F uh, connected with an end to it, okay? Suppose there are a lot of branches. As I said, if the grade between 90 and 100, give them A, 86 and 90, give them A minus and so on. Then the construct is gonna look like this. If uh, some condition is satisfied, then you do blah, blah, blah. You do some uh, calculation. Uh, else f, else f, another condition is satisfied. So let's say the grade is between uh, uh, 86 and 90. Then you know you need to do other type of calculation, and you can have many else f's. So else f, else f, else f. You could have as many else f's as you wish. Okay, uh, but then sometimes after you exhaust all the possibilities. There is only one possibility left. Like what? A uh, grade between 82 and 86, between 78 and 82, between 74 and 80. And then you exhaust everything until you reach it to, let's say, 50. Now, the only remaining possibility is the student grade is less than 50, which is, of course, very unfortunate. In that case, you, in that case, you need to give them an F. Right. So if there is only one possibility left, you can use else without F and you don't need to put a condition. So the last thing will be else. And there is no condition next to it. OK, and then else, then you need to execute some stuff. Eventually, after you exhaust all the possibilities, you need to close this with an end. OK, as always, as we said, every F has to come uh, or has to be connected with an end. Okay, that's basically the syntax of F statements in MATLAB. Very simple. You don't have to have else F. You do not have to have else, right? It might be one F and end, and that's it, okay? 
but we are discussing the most general uh, case that we are showing here on the right. Uh, if no questions, then let's actually apply this on an exercise. Um, don't see any questions, so I'm gonna stop share the whiteboard and share the MATLAB screen. Uh, right here. And also I'm gonna share a very simple exercise uh, that's quite instructive because uh, because it links to something we all learned in mathematics. In fact, let me analyze the exercise first here on a whiteboard, and then we can, uh, you know, uh, it's this exercise that we want to work on. Let me even uh, make it in, you know, uh, some other color just to highlight that we are working on this. And let me bring a whiteboard here on the right uh, to analyze this exercise together. Okay, and I'm gonna put this at the bottom here. All right, so what does the exercise say? Uh, it says, uh, write a MATLAB script that reads the coefficients of a second order polynomial from the user. So the user uh, is, let's first remind you what's a second order polynomial. It's something that looks like this, ax squared plus px uh, plus c. This is called the second order polynomial, provided, of course, that A is not zero, because if A is zero, it's a first order polynomial. And then uh, uh, it tells the user, once, once you give it the A and you give it the B and you give it the C, it's going to tell the user whether the roots are different or real or repeated. Does anyone remember what do roots mean, uh, what, what the word roots mean? If you remember from basic mathematics, uh, if you don't remember, I can remind you. So roots is when you equate, oh, someone said this, uh, satisfy the equation. Yes, satisfy the equation when, when, when you equate to zero. That's correct. Thank you. And so if you, if you say this is equal to zero, then there will be roots, which are basically the x's that make this equation equal to zero. We learned it in basic mathematics that there is this symbol formula, minus p uh, plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Very, very famous and symbol. Exactly, exactly. Uh, someone has already, but, but there is a minus sign here uh, as we wrote it here. So you have, this is the solution of uh, when you equate a second order polynomial to zero. And you actually have three different possibilities. Um, the possibilities are as follows. Uh, this term here, this term here is called the discriminant right? It's called the discriminant. It's the term that decides what kind of roots you have. If the discriminant is greater than zero, as someone already said, you will have two real different roots. So two real different roots. And you need to tell the user that, hey, your polynomial has two real different roots. And then if the discriminant equals zero, then you actually have one real root, one real root. Some people like to call it, you have two real repeated roots, repeated because they are the same. And finally, if this discriminant is less than zero, then you actually have two complex roots, two complex roots. So these are all the possibilities and just, for, for uh, remembering this graphically, because this has graphical uh, connotations. Let's actually show you this. Uh, if you show this graphically, uh, I can highlight this here. This is the x-axis, this is y, x, y, x, y. So graphically, if you sketch the first case, it's gonna look like this. Remember a second order polynomial is a parabola. So this is a root and this is a root. Uh, the other case is going to look like this, basically touching the x-axis at one point, so one root. The third case is where the parabola is completely hovering above the x-axis, so it's uh, something like this, not even touching the x-axis. Okay, So we are asking you uh, to write a code or a script that reads the ABC from the user and decides what kind of roots are there. Okay, the, the script is also supposed to do th the following. It should report the values of the roots, right? 
or complex or real or anything, and also plot the polynomial from uh, minus 10 to 10. That's all what is needed in this script. So let's get started. I'm gonna stop share for a second. Let me share a screen here. So I'm gonna, uh, let me save this and call it a uh, root finding exercise. So just allow me a second, please. 